Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 8 to the power x, this is equal to 80, so what is the value of x? Now, solution from here, we have 8 to the power x, this is equal to 80. Now, to solve for the value of x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so that here we will have log 8 to the power x. This is equal to log 80. So, so log 8 to the power x, this is in the form of log 8 to the power n, which we can express as n log a. So, applying this power rule property, then log 8 to the power x can be expressed as x log 8. This is equal to log 80. So, let's divide both signs by log 8. So that here we'll have x is equal to log 80 divided by log 8. Now you find that you can express 80 as 10 times 8. Substituting this, so x is equal to log 8 times 10 divided by log 8. So you find that log 8 times 10, this is in the form of log a times b, which we can express as log a plus log b. So applying this, this logarithm property, so we have x is equal to log 8 times 10 divided by log 8. So log 8 times 10, this is in the form of log a times b, which we can express as log a plus log b. Applying this logarithm property, then we can transform this as x is equal to log 8 divided by log 8 plus log 10 divided by log 8. So let's simplify here so that x will be equal to 1 plus log 10 divided by log 8. We can express 10 as 5 times 2. So that x will be equal to 1 plus log 5 times 2 divided by log 8. So let's proceed here. We have x is equal to 1 plus log 5 times 2 divided by log 8. So now, x will be equal to 1 plus log 5 times 2. This is in the form of log a times b, which we can express as log a plus log b. So this implies here we have log 5 divided by log 8 plus log 2 divided by log 8. So the next step from here, we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. Let's substitute this so that x will be equal to 1 plus log 5 divided by log 2 to power 3. Log 8 is the same as log 2 to power 3, then plus log 2 divided by log 2 to power 3. So, applying the power root property, that is log a to power n, this can be expressed as n log log a. So, applying this property, we can express log 2 to power 3 as Applying this power root property, then we can express x as 1 plus log 5 divided by 3 log 2 plus log 2 divided by 3 log 2. So log 2 here simplifies so that now x will be equal to 
This is the same thing as 1 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 divided by log 2. So that's the value of x here will be equal to 1 plus a third. This is the same thing as 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 divided by log 2. So let's proceed from here. We have x is equal to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 divided by log 2. So log 5 divided by log 2, this is in the form of log A divided by log B, which we can express as log A to base B. So applying this property, then here we'll have x as 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 to base 2. But since a third is common here, we can factor out a third into the bracket here we'll have 4 plus log 5 to base 2. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation. Let's verify here. So if you recall here, we have that 8 to power x, this should give us a value of 80. Substituting the value of x here, we will have 8 raised to power x, which is a third, into the bracket here 4 plus log 5 to base 2, this should give us a value of 80. The next step from here, we can express 8 as basically 2 to power 3. So let's substitute this. So this is 2 to power 3 times 1 over 3, 4 plus log 5 to base 2. This should give us a value of 80. So let's, let's simplify here. So this is 2 to power 4 plus log 5 base 2, this should give us a value of 80. So 2 to power 4 plus log 5 to base 2, this is in the form of a to power n plus m, which we can transform as a to power n times a to power m. So applying this exponent property, so we have 2 to power 4 plus log 5 to base 2, this is in the form of a to power n plus m, which you can transform as a to power n times a to power m. So applying this exponent property, then here we'll have 2 to power 4 times 2 to power log 5 to base 2. This should give us a value of 80. So you find that 2 to power 4, this is the same thing as 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, and this is equal to 16. So here we have 16 multiplied by 2 to power of 5 to base 2. They should give us a value of 80. So 2 to power of 5 to base 2, this is in the form of m to power of a to base m, and this is supposed to give us a value of a. So that now, 2 to power of 5 to base 2, this is equal to 5. So from here, we have 16 times 2 to power of 5 to base 2, which is 5. This should give us a value of 80. So 16 times 5, this is equal to 80, which is equal to 80. So that implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, the value of x, which is equal to a third, 
into the bracket here 4 plus rock 5 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation. So this value of x satisfies the equation. So can you refer the steps like this video? And please subscribe.